Okay. Yeah, there's a sort of a, there's kind of a, a wild Bill Donovan kind of a look going on there. Yeah, yeah there is actually. <laughs> but you got to remember that he uh. says, you know, to those who scare peace-loving people with phantoms of lost liberty, my message is this. Your tactics only aid terrorists, for they erode our national unity and diminish our resolve. Well, who does the most scaring? Yeah. That's what I'd like to know. Well, so you know, what he's you know. saying there is that you question the unbridled rights of the government to uh, basically abrogate the first, fourth, and sixth amendments. Uh, you're just aiding the terrorists. Well, you know, I think this is kind of this is kind of a namby pamby way of saying something that George Bush said much more succinctly, which is, "You're either with us or you're with the terrorists." Yes, that's about. You know, I mean, uh, that pretty much is it in a nutshell. That's basically what he's saying here. He's just uh, a big windbag who has to say a lot more to say it. Well, there's a lot of uh, uh, concerns. Um, that uh, have come up from this act, and uh, we're running out of time here, so we're going to like uh, take a. We got a call from Bob on line four. Uh, Bob, you there? Yeah, it's me again. Yeah, hi, Bob. Hello. How you doing? Okay. Now, I had two points here, real quick. Okay. You said that the FBI was infiltrating the anti-war movement and all that with their own agents. They have. They have a. They have a long history of doing that, particularly with the COINTELPRO operation in the 50s and right. 60s. Yeah. Okay. Now they also did that with the Ku Klux Klan, the American Nazi Party. Yes, they did. That's and true. The Hell's Angels. All mm -hmm. right, but mm -hmm. that's okay with liberals. Now, as far as this uh, worrying about Middle Eastern people and race profiling and all that. The last, it, well, in World War II, we rounded up all the Japanese and put them in internment camps, right? Yes, we did. So that is the we case. are a long way from rounding up anyone and putting them in. Oh, interesting. You should mention that, considering uh, the 2,400 uh, Arab Americans who were arrested right after 9-11. Oh, that's very interesting enough, because that's right there. So we were also having uh, planes flown into our buildings at the time, too, which uh, well, was the kind of like Pearl Harbor. Harbor. We're just fine with. But you're, but Maybe the Arab Americans weren't, but, you know, the, the Muslims. They weren't Arab Americans who did that. They were Saudis. The, uh, you know, uh, there was nobody from Detroit flying any of those planes. Right. No, I'm sorry. That that was that was my mistake. But I mean, they were they weren't uh, they weren't Americans, but they were they were of uh, uh, Middle Eastern descent. Right. Fifteen right. of them were so Saudis. I, I say just keep an eye on all of them. So you guys <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob. Uh, there's that quote there uh, when he talks about interest, which quote George W. Bush. Interestingly, in, interestingly enough. We've rounded up and detained over 2,400 terrorists, and that's good. Well, what he's referring to. Interestingly enough, unless George Bush has now got the power of imperial decree, uh, he's rounded up 2,400 people. Uh, who, who are are they? Actually? Someone has decided are suspects. Yes, uh, none of them were convicted of being terrorists. But think of the mindset up. of our government, and think of what George Bush just told the American people: We've got 2,400 terrorists. We've busted them. That's like saying we're building internment camps, and we've got all these Japanese enemies of the uh, state. You know, why are they in the internment camps? Because they're potential enemies of the state. You know, in, 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 in light of what Bob was saying, and I agree, Bob. I mean, we, we can't, most of the Patriot Act especially, no argument with. A lot of it is a lot of stuff about streamlining certain processes for investigative techniques, et cetera. And it's not a matter of not using intelligence. But even the FBI, certain FBI agents admit that they don't want to be data mining. It's like, well, it's already looking for a needle in the haystack. They don't want to make the haystack bigger. But then you've got things like our, our, our King George here talking about, you know, rounding up 2,400 terrorists. And the mindset there is who we've arrested is guilty. Because you have been investigated and because we've arrested these people, they must be guilty. And that cuts to the very chase of the, of the, the core of what our whole democracy, what our constitutional republic is about. And that's basically a blaspheme of the, of the constitutional processes of uh, law and justice. Anyway, we are quickly running out of time. We only have a couple, minutes, couple left. minutes left. And we're going to take one quick call from Chuck. We're almost out of time. Chuck, can you make it quick? Comment on Patriot Act? Yes. This is a federal constitution. as the supreme law of the land. And the 14th Amendment that makes it applicable to the states make the Patriot Act 
null and void? I would I agree would with agree, yes. yes. But right now, the, the Supreme Court doesn't seem to, you know, the challenges uh, to that are still working their way. Yeah, justice can be very slow. We had something that was in effect called Plessy versus Ferguson, which lasted for almost a century before we finally corrected that. Uh, and let's hope it doesn't take that long to correct uh, the, uh, the current judicial situation that is, uh, that is validating this kind of abuse and unconstitutional uh, uh, legislation. You, you, are, you are correct, Chuck. And uh, that was our original point in the first place, as you might have seen in the show, is like, how did this act decide that the Fourth Amendment is no longer valid? You know, it can't. It cannot constitutionally happen, yet we're allowing those things to happen. That's why there is such an outcry and why there is this, this effort to try to do something about it. And right there, to get more information on it in our last minute of the show, uh, you can go there and visit the ACLU website. And whatever you think about the ACLU, and they haven't been my favorite organization in a number of times as well. I'm sure Bob doesn't like them. However, well, the I don't like their stand on election uh, funding, that's for sure. But the ACLU has been reinvigorated because of this, and they're getting support from all over. We highly recommend visit their website. There's a lot on there about the Patriot Act, its, its legal implications, uh, uh, things like that, as well as some things that you can do and how you can speak up uh, to your elected representatives uh, and local communities about it. Because the Patriot Act is a, ba it is a threat to our, uh, to our, our constitutional uh, republic. And one thing about the ACLU is l this year uh, at a uh, convention, it was a conservative convention, it's a major thing they have every year, different conservative groups meet. The ACLU, for the first time in history, had a booth at this, sponsored by the conservative re uh, representative, former congressman from Georgia, Bob Barr. He sponsored having the ACLU there, and he has become an outspoken, uh, vocal supporter of the ACLU and their efforts in fighting the Patriot Act. So you can see this crosses all lines. It's nothing to do with liberal If you can't stand the thought of looking at the ACLU website, you might want to go and look at the Cato Institute website. Yes. Um, the Cato Institute website is another one, uh, another known to be a, quote, conservative group. Uh, supportive as, as well in its opposition to the Patriot Act. Our website has information as well. One more uh, address here to check real quick, the Bill of Rights Defense Committee. Uh, there's an address, write that down. Boardc.org. Board. That's a good uh, organization to check into uh, that you can get involved with to help support uh, and overturning those, those, the bad provisions. And I think we're about out of time. We are completely out of time. We will be back again with more on this very topic and more on all sorts of subjects relating to uh, the preservation and strength of our democratic republic. So until then, I want to say thank you uh, on behalf of uh, the crew uh, and, the st and the staff who helped make this possible every week, week in, week out, and my partner uh, and colleague Ed Lacey right here. And until then, don't forget to pass, pass it on. It on.